So when you've got a new offensive line across the board like the Chiefs do, they've got to find a way to establish that run. Mahomes goes sidearm. It's Kelsey into Vikings territory. Mahomes with time going over the top. Caught. Touchdown, Chiefs. Well, an area of concern for the Vikings was their offensive line. And so let's see what the Chiefs defensive line can do getting after them. Cousins to throw. Dumps it off. First and ten Vikings. Cousins. Has some time. Completes it. It's Sorensen. Finally. Excited for him. He's had a long-standing relationship with Coach Vermeil because of his time in Philadelphia. And, and he was happy for him as well. It's Irv Smith who's going to cut it back. And it's... Cousins. And that's knocked away. Legere. Kick is on the way, and it is good. So the Vikings are on the board. Entertaining start to this game. Chief lead 7-3. That was very visible to me, the coaching that he had received from Eric Bieniemy. Mahomes, a couple of pump fakes, and finds DeMarcus Robinson. Got a feeling he's going to show us all the throwing arm angles just in one quarter at the rate he's going. This time they take it out to the right side. They, they found different guys and how they plug them in the different packages that they want to use in attack defenses. Mahomes. How about that? And Minnesota jumps. Free play for Mahomes. Finds Robinson. And Robinson. Set up the screen to Thompson. Makes one guy miss. Thompson to the outside, and he's close. Mahomes, caught, is he in? Blitz is coming and Hitchens wraps him up and takes him down for the... Cousins, it's complete, but well short of the first down. And he certainly flashed on tape, got a chance to make this team. This is Marcus Kemp. And Kemp's already made a great count to try and jump. And they will go for it and convert on fourth down. Michelle with time. Now the pocket collapsing. Almost got out of trouble. It's just uh, which weapon are they going to attack you with? You know, for years and years, it was New England. And you could even say a decade, over a decade, it was New England. With a guy like Tyree Kill and... They were able to take advantage of it. Just one of the two touchdown passes Patrick Mahomes had in the first quarter. A Bouchelle, a strike to Noah Gray. Bouchelle. A nice catch. Beautiful throw and catch. It'll be another. Beautiful throw and catch. Play cover two and leave gaps in the middle. They took advantage of it a few times with throws down the middle. That time just sitting down in the middle of the defense. And that's Gore. Bouchel. Caught. Touchdown, Chief. Uh, this offense has a chance to be even more versatile. Browning off his back foot, up the sideline, and that is caught. The sideline, there's a lot of depth at safety as well. And Browning completes it. Browning. And that's broken up. Greg Joseph on for a 52-yard field goal attempt. And that is good. Um, so our fans are just going to have to show them just how loud Arrowhead can be. Third down. And it's picked off. Darmani Watts with... And they're going to run the option. And the ball is down on the ground. And the... I know week one, week, week one, we couldn't talk enough about him. He was, he was in quite a bit in terms of the impact plays he made against the 49ers. Kellen Mond moves to his left. And he's going to take off and run, pick up the first down and more. And then... Rose the ball carrier, and he cuts it, and he'll take it for a Vikings touchdown. Well, this, this team is in great position to have success 
once again this season. Bouchelle on the run, completes it. You know, Tony played for 17, 18 seasons. He played for a long time, but uh, Travis Kelsey, is he, if he's able to stay healthy and keep this connection with Patrick Mahomes. It's Gore on the loose. Needs another couple blocks. There he goes. Touchdown, Chiefs. The left tackle spot for a long time. Mon throws. Receiver was open. That man is quite a physical specimen. Trey Smith, 6'6", 335 pounds. And that ball up in the air, and Kato reaches for it. Unbelievable. We really played together, so we were super excited, and, uh, you know, I'm really thankful to have him with me. And now, how's the communication out there, especially today? Michelle still in a quarterback. Great defensive stand. Uh-oh, that's picked off by the Vikings. And in for the touchdown. Mon the throw, and he is caught, and the two-point conversion is. You know, Dalton was an all-state player in Kansas, played at Blue Valley Northwest, and as you said, went to Kansas State and was in camp with the Chargers a year ago, and now getting an op. All across the NFL, you know, the dream's going to come to an end. Uh, it eventually comes to an end for everybody, all of us. You know, said all the things I wanted to say, but I literally went in there, and, and Bobby Ross was the head coach of the Chargers at the time. Uh, I didn't even get through a sentence before. It's incredible. We're up by a million points, and this crowd sounds like we're in the AFC Championship game. Credit to the culture that they've built here. It's been so fun. But you go to do downward dog, you got to be on your feet, and you got to do. And, and he's like, "Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing that. That's not happening." He goes, "I'm, I'm not doing that." So. He's giving me the depth charts and the nitty gritty of all of it, so I couldn't do it without him. He's done a great job. He's the ultimate insider. As you mentioned Anna, that of course Dana talks to. Ah! Well, I don't know how we do anything <laughs> of our preseason. And the Vikings on the doorstep, and they are in. They get the touchdown.